In this video, we are going to see how we can pass an entire record from quick action to a screen flow. Uh, <clears throat> so these are the, this is very simple. Uh, so typically what we do is uh, when we want a quick action to send uh, the, the record, the, the record that has launched the flow, what we typically do is we create a screen flow variable with the name record ID and then we just mark it available for input and uh, we just set the data type as text. So now the difference is instead of just setting the data type as text, if you could change the data type as record and then you know simply enable that flow variable you know as available for output then automatically your quick action will send the entire record to the flow we'll just quickly see that with a simple demo let me first go to my org and then let's go to flow let's create a new <clears throat> let's create a new flow so what i would like to do is i would like to introduce a new quick action that will help me to check uh, the invoice status of my account so i got an invoice id as you can just see right here so i want to access this invoice id when i click on a i mean i launch the when i when i just you know uh, click on this button quick action button so first let me create a screen flow very quickly and um, yes we wanted to create a resource first let's say a variable and then uh, this variable name has to be exactly record id so this has to be this has to match uh, so you don't you can't create no you can't create give your own variable name So you have to be absolutely sure about the record AP or the variable AP name which is record ID where I is camps and then so this variable will be uh, Will be uh, used to hold a current records Values current records values and the data type this is where the change is so you have to select the data type as record if you say if you select data type as text then the quick action will give you only the current records id the salesforce id it will not give you the entire record so in order for you to get the entire record <clears throat> just ensure that the data type is selected as record and then you have to map the object in my case i want to get all the field values from account isn't it so and also i have to mark this as you know available for input that's all it is. So let's let's test this. So let me add a quick uh, screen interaction element, and then I'm gonna look for a text. So what I can do is I'll just say this is my uh, record uh, details. So what I'm gonna do is let's say ID, and let's say name. Let's say um, the invoice ID okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the record id variable so i'll click on insert a resource and the record id and you can just see all the fields right from the account object so i can just choose id <clears throat> let me choose id right here the same thing i'm gonna click on insert resource i'll choose the record single variable and i'm gonna look for the name it's there and the same thing I can just look for uh, let me click on insert resource and the record ID then I'm just going to look for the invoice yeah current month invoice ID that's it so my invoice ID I just uh, make it bold so now I'm using the variable right of type uh, record and then I'm just accessing all the fields right so let's say let's give a name to the screen let's say uh, record values let's say done perfect i'm going to save this one i'll just say this is uh, uh, access record data from quick action demo yeah So entire record data, let's say, let's say, I'm going to activate this. So now my screen flow is ready, isn't it? So let's go back to the, go back to the org, uh, the object manager first. And uh, let's create a quick action. I'll go to buttons, links and actions, and I'm going to choose a new action. And um, yeah. 
and in the action type i'm going to choose flow so this will help me to see all the screen flows right the active active screen flows so this is the one that we just created and then i'm going to say label i'll just say check invoice status okay so i'll just say save so now a new action has just been created isn't it so i'll add this action to my page layout i'll go back again go to my account i'll go to page layouts i'm going to go to the account layout and uh, right in the mobile and uh, lightning actions i should see the button here it is so i'll just drag and then drop it right on this one yeah the first of the i'll just put it on the first as a first button so let's save this and then um, do a quick check so if i go back now and then refresh the screen all right now i see the action right the quick action when i click on it i should see the name of the uh, name of the account id of the account and also the invoice id click perfect now you can just see this right something is wrong oh yeah, yeah. so this is <clears throat> let's see how we can use this one looks like the id is not you know uh, showing up right very simple to fix if you go back here and double click this all you have to do is just don't give the field name so just give the id just give the variable alone that should be fine okay you will get the you will get the id of the record yeah so that should be fine okay i'll say done and then save as create a new version activate it isn't that simple let's go back to the page and hit the button let it load done so now i'm just seeing the id along with the name and the invoice id isn't it so the fundamental difference is when you create the variable right when you create a variable number one you have to remember that it has to be named as record id number two if you want to access the entire record yeah entire record that has launched the flow from through quick action then the data type has to be record if you don't give data type as record instead if you have given data type as text then you will able to get only the record id then you have to make uh, you have to use get record and then make a db call and then access you know other details of the record but to avoid that avoid one db call what you can do is you can just you can just you know ensure that the data is marked as record which means automatically the page right that is launching the flow will send the entire record data to the flow so that's it i hope you have found this helpful thank you